Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. This house was the um, daughter and son of the owner contacted us. The mother and one of the sisters, or the, her daughter, was living in this home. Uh, the mother died and the daughter died as well. They think the mother just died of natural causes, probably from the environment, and then the daughter probably committed suicide right after that. So both of their bodies were found in the home. Uh, they weren't decomposed or anything. They were found like a day or two later. Uh, so they, uh, the rest of the family saw the home and the condition that it was in and uh, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they called me originally for um, a clean out quote and then uh, we kind of negotiated a sale. So I purchased this property. Uh, we closed on it last week and uh, we are in the process of cleaning it out now. I think it's going to be about a two week process to clean it out and then uh, the rehab portion will start. And the rehab on this house is gonna be substantial. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is one of my top 10 worst houses in my 14 years. And uh, the weird thing about this house is that I bought it. So now it's my problem. This is miserable. Hoarding and storage units for years, probably five or six years. This is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen, not including the dead animals that we're finding, hence Pet Cemetery. We are here at the Winter Haven property and we are doing a checkup on the status of the renovation. And as you can see, we've got a ton of raw wood here and uh, the electricians are running all the wire, the brand new wire throughout the whole house. We're upgrading it to a 200 amp panel. So follow me and I'll show you the progress. So this is our new master bathroom. So it's going to be a walk-in shower here, a nice tub here, and a double vanity here with plenty of storage. This is a gigantic master bathroom. I don't even think mine's this big. Then we got our new master bedroom. My favorite thing so far about this renovation is these brand new French doors. If you remember, this used to be windows. Uh, there was black on the bottom and windows on the top. This is fantastic. Look how much light this brings in. So I'm super excited about this because we're gonna make a really great outdoor area here for uh, the future tenants to enjoy. This is the kitchen. It looks like not a lot of work's been done, but actually it's a lot of work to run all this brand new electrical wire through plaster walls. So they had to make some cuts and stuff. And if you remember, we removed the soffits that were above the, um, the uh, old cabinets here. And then this is the site of progress right here. This is all of our new stuff that's going in. We've got our tubs, we've got our lights. I don't know if you remember this bathroom, but this is the bathroom that both humans and animals were pooping in the tub. Right now, it's been completely gutted. So one of the bad things when you're totally rewiring a house that has plaster is that sometimes the old wiring is uh, tapped in, so it's difficult to get out. So if you can see, we had to cut all of the plaster here to run the new wire. Uh, yeah, uh, Glenn Potter, um, Glenn's Flooring Remodeling. Um, been doing this for about uh, 16 years. Um, I love it. Put a new set of French doors. Um, all the electrical on the outside of the house was ran through conduit on the outside of the house. All that had to be removed and rewired. Um, they had a window unit on this side, 
shoved with cat litter and cat boxes um, full of roaches. This whole wall is just live with roaches. Um, uh, it was cleaning was by far the worst. Um, the soil damage from the cats and the dogs on the wall. Um, literally, I've never seen anything eat the plaster off a wall like that. That's just, I mean, you can see the outlet just fell out of the wall. It completely rusted the outlet right off the wall. Um, every time you turn around, there's something that's either damaged from cats or roaches. That's just beyond anything we've ever seen. Um, I mean, this whole wall, when we knocked the holes in the wall, it was alive with roaches. They just started pouring out of the walls. Um, same thing with the soffits. When we took down these soffits, all the insulation was filled with roaches. Um, no rats yet. I haven't seen any kind of rat problems. Um, but roaches have been in the kitchen. That bathroom in here where all the soil damage was, was just insane with roaches. Um, and I guess the other, the worst thing is by far the electrical, I guess, other than cleaning the house out. Um, the electrical has been a nightmare. Um, all the walls are either poured solid with concrete or they have so much slag in them. The electricians aren't able to pull the wires through. Um, and there's not much attic <coughs> space, so they're, you know, pretty much living in the attic as they're doing it. I mean, there's just, they're <coughs> in the attic all day long. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, once the electrical is done and the walls are repaired, it should be a pretty quick process to bring it back to the way it should look. Yeah, y'all can have the cleaning. I'd rather do this any day. <laughs> Most definitely. Probably the best customer I got. So I'd rather do work for her than anybody else. If that's, that's what I'm talking about. If that means anything. <laughs> so hopefully we can keep it going and keep more houses coming. So. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. I think once we get past this, uh, the hurdle of the electric and the uh, and the bugs, then uh, I think everything will move smoothly, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, on schedule. Should be good. So I came back here to our animal hoarder property here in Winter Haven, Florida, to check on the progress of all of our construction, and uh, the electricians are finally done. So I can start on the roof now. Uh, the drywall mud is uh, is in the process of drying. We have such high humidity here in Florida that uh, the the mud is taking forever to dry. So I brought um, an AC unit that's portable. I brought some fans, and I also brought a dehumidifier to hopefully accelerate that a little bit. I had to make a uh, design change in the master bathroom uh, just because I felt it looked a bit cluttered with the uh, nice garden tub, the walk-in shower, and the double vanity. So what I did is I 86'd the garden tub and I, I elected to go for a nice big walk-in shower with the, um, the head up top and then the jet outside. Okay, let's scrap the fucking tub. Let's make a kick-ass fucking shower kick-ass vanity and look at all the room we have still so yeah. it's not cluttered as fuck yeah, well, and we saved four days shit i'm glad i came today man it's a lot lot nicer yeah i'm glad i came today and I've been, like i said it cuts at least three or four days on the time fuck yeah i love so. it it's going to be a really great experience for uh whoever rents this home because it's a uh it's going to be a true master bathroom design with uh you know a double vanity and stuff so i uh you know and we also had to save money because they stopped making the doors the same size so we had to go with oak instead of steel and I was, wow i was unaware of that on the door issue it, it just happened mike just called me he's like hey really? i can't get those doors and i'm like Fuck. what about this guy because this one gets a, like these are the interiors are no problem i already got them. oh okay. so they were all supposed to be delivered okay. and they delivered me three doors i'm like where's the rest of my doors and they called me back today so that's oh, it. so well, we got that solved the fucking um, of that so it, that saved us 500 bucks by taking it out, taking the tub out of the master bathroom. And then we just basically applied that $500 to the doors because the oak doors cost more than the uh, steel ones. And obviously we couldn't cut the steel ones to, uh, to fit the current doors because this house is, is pretty old. Okay. Did you already strip the paneling in the closet? Start. Oh, you're gonna fur over it? Yeah. That's fine. And drywall. Yeah. 
Octopus. Yeah, and I'm framing this out with two by four right. so I can recess the new panel. Okay. So you got all them panels gone, it's just gonna be the one. Thank new God. Panel. So and the sheds on the same panel, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, everything will be on the same panel. Okay. So all right, well this is good then. That's safe. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, uh, that's what we did. I, we tried pulling no one around the light right there. Yeah. And it it just wants to, it's gonna come off in little bitty fucking pieces around it, that light. I, yeah, I hope not. Uh, it don't matter. Yeah. It, well, I gotta spray this. It's got that same texture on it. I gotta spray it yeah. and then yeah. put a coat on there. Look out, look out. This room looks fantastic. Yeah, it smells better too. I know. So, <clears throat> but you can see the dark spots in the mud still, and it's two or three days old. Yeah. For some reason, even the shit that's stuck, the drywall mud doubles off. So I don't know if it's what was sprayed on the wall. There's moisture. Well, you know, that means there's moisture coming from the block. I, I, I mean, it, some is keeping it. I well, wonder no, because once I scrape it off, it sticks. So there's a way to show the bottom. Maybe I'll show you what it's doing. This is just I just sprayed this. Can you see this? Yeah. I have to go back and shave all yeah. this off and redo it. And it only does it. I thought spots. you were gonna have problems there. No, that sticks fine. See, I'll, I'll spray that. That coat will dry. Then yeah. I'll spray another coat and I right. take a big squeegee and I spray right, it. Right. It'll be like a brand new wall. It's it's in, it's happening in places. It's not even happening in places that was stained. Yeah. So it's almost like having oil residue on it. So. Do you think it was the pest control guy? I, see, that's what I, I was wondering, but I don't know where he sprayed. I don't either. So I know he sprayed the base in here around here, but I don't know. Anything? Wow. <laughs> I don't smell anything bad anymore. Ten buckets down. Are the guys still here? The electrician? Not for right now. Oh. Okay. They're about to make sure they have a commercial dollar here. Cans look good. So you have two pivots here, uh -huh. two small cans above the sink, and then yep. six big cans. Just so. using your right one? Then, yeah. Then, uh, the, the mud on the ground. That's a cool thing. Is that? Sand and drywall sand. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they're vacuuming your sand. Oh, that's awesome. I've never seen those. Oh, this, wow, this room is fucking amazing. That's yeah, ready for sanding and texture. Holy well, shit. Well, except for this wall here where I put the second coat on. Yeah, this looks really good. It's too much to put a second coat on. Just need sanding a little bit? I guess yeah, I'll put a second coat on. But it's too wet. Can you see the light the dark spots? Yep. So, overall, I'm super happy with the progress. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see that. So the metal's going over the uh, shingle? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. What are we doing in here? It's a real different. Uh huh. Oh, nice big hole in the wall. Wow! This is incredible! Look at this! Different place, huh? It is! Do you remember what this was before? Not this. <laughs> Holy smokes. Roaches were coming out of every orifice of this house. It looks fantastic. Oh. Wow. Hot water heaters inside the cabinet. Easy access. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It's got three drawers on each side, two cabinets. In the Very nice. This looks yeah. great, man. Oops. That's a good size shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Tile. I, th I think we made the right choice in here by 86 in that tub. Tile all the way to the ceiling in there. We're doing that, the white subway tile uh -huh. in there. And then 42 inches right here, all the way around. Right. And here. Yep. And then your white tile with the the black black yeah. on it. Okay. Um, because of what I I think because we're doing tile everywhere, uh -huh. I'm not gonna spend the extra seven hundred dollars for the five inches of granite backsplash. I want to oh, run yeah. the granite to the wall and yeah, the tile to the ground. Yeah, that works for me. So. That's how much it is. Yeah, seven hundred just for the backsplash. That's great. Let's cut that. So. I figured the island will have a backsplash. Right. right. You know, the, you don't want a backsplash on the desk, so what I was going to do is do 18 inches of tile on the desk wall. There you go. And then just continue it all the way around. Okay. So. That looks great. Look at it's cracking. It's just from the time yeah, the age. Yeah. yeah, this whole roof's got to be skimmed. The lower roof's got to be skimmed. Yeah. That's yeah, all of today's plan. Did they not start yesterday on the roof? I thought they did. No, they started. Oh, they started today. Oh, you got good weather, man. Yeah. You can't. 
Same color I put in all of them. <laughs> Take up too much space. Fans in here already? Yep. The ceiling is down in here. The walls, I gotta do some work on the walls. Looks good. Looks fantastic. You wanna put the DEO in here? No, we'll crack it. Oh, will it? Okay. No, it's it, 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 thick. Yeah, that's a mud bed. Fuck. Wow. Alright, I'll build all that back up. Fill it back in. Yeah. But once I get the tub in here, this room is ready for texture yeah. and sand. Do a little sand and texture and put, I can start putting in tile. Is that what goes in next? You have to wait for that to dry and then yeah, the tub, the tub goes gets in. set in and then I got to pour this with two inches of concrete. See how low it is. Oh, yeah. But, and then I'll just, I'm going to use, I might stain it this color or close to it before I paint the white over it. I'm just going to whitewash it. Yeah, we're going to I'm going to paint it white and then take a towel and just kind of wipe it off and make it look aged. Okay. So, a little distressed um, look there. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing in this little hallway. I'm gonna put matching crown. Okay. Where they had to run the lift. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of tie it in. Okay. Oh, look at that. I can't think of anything else. Metal showing there. Yeah, we it looks great, man. You think you'll be done before Thanksgiving? That's what I'm shooting. For. Okay. I need to be. There's nothing. All right. Honestly, that gives me time to get a tenant in here. Maybe December first. Yeah, because I got nothing. There's nothing left. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the materials between, like the flooring, the material on the flooring went up 45 cents. It's the goddamn trade thing. And, it, and, it, and I had no warning. You know, I bid it for a dollar fifty. He's like, oh yeah, it's a dollar eighty nine now. I'm like, what? Did you already buy it? No. Already? Fuck. So that's. Luckily, Maybe wait again, it might go back down or? Well, no, I'm, he's searching for a, uh, checking all his vendors to find a drop piece. Shit. Yeah. So, we I'll get We need quite a, a bit of it though. 1,500 feet. Yeah, fuck. So, um, working that out, working that out. Um, we'll get it situated. We'll yeah, get it this, this tariff shit is, yeah. is really increasing our prices. The tissue ain't lying there. Yeah. Well, I mean, drywall, I was getting drywall for $7 a sheet when I bid this, yeah. but now it's 11 <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to give you an update on the pet cemetery house. So we've had some setbacks. Um, setbacks are usually expected when you're dealing with a, uh, a rehab of this magnitude, but I'm a bit angry because um, it was the contractor's fault. So what happened was the roofer um, put on a new roof and pulled a permit for it however he either neglected or forgot or whatever to pull another permit for the detached shed area um, that was where all the christmas stuff was we were going to turn that into like an efficiency so um he got busted by the uh county and he got fined well when the county uh, came in to inspect the house they realized that the electrician also did not pull a permit when I had paid him to pull a permit. So uh, to say I'm furious is putting it mildly. Um, I paid these people, licensed contractors, to do the right thing and they did not do it. So um, I am not happy right now. So this all occurred in the beginning of November. Uh, today is January 5th and I still do not have any progress on my project because they put a stop order on the work. So the rest of the trades are unable to finish uh, because of the neglect of those two. So um, they were fined, they were punished, but uh, ultimately I'm the one that gets punished the most because I have the holding cost involved uh, in this house. So uh, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of where we're at, where we left off. We've, we've lost two months of productivity and we only have two weeks left uh, for the interior uh, rehab to be completed. And um, the garage is gonna take another couple weeks, but that is inconsequential to get somebody in here. 
So I have come today for the first time since this happened in the beginning of um, November. And uh, honestly, to just take care of the yard and the shrubs, and as you can imagine, it was overgrown. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what's going on here. And let me see if I can turn the camera. So you can see the permit is here. Uh, that means no work can be done. So let me show you what we've got. So this is the living room. Uh, it is not yet completely painted. Uh, it's roughed out for the electric. And of course, I've got the appliances sitting there staged. Um, but this is the beautiful kitchen. Um, I don't know if you can remember in season, no, this season, I think it was episode part one of Pet Cemetery. Um, you can see Kyle um, banging the uh, counter, the counter, the cabinets to get it out. And um, then Glenn comes behind him with one pull and pulls the whole thing. Well, that was over there. That's that area there. So what we did is we added uh, can lights, as you can see all around, two pendants. So this is gonna be an island right here. The refrigerator will go here, granite countertops all around. And then I added um, these pantry with pullouts and a little desk here. This will all be granite. Uh, so you've got two pantries, one on either side. So this is gonna be um, a really, really beautiful kitchen. Um, I'm envious of it. Uh, if you can remember from uh, part one, this is all they had for cabinets. So it was seriously lacking for storage. Um, and what I did is I turned this room into the dining room, added French doors, and uh, we're in the process of mowing back there. You can see how high and we cut trees and um, the snake just jumped out on me and I kind of freaked out. Even though it was a racer snake, it wasn't poisonous, but they freaked me out. Um, okay, so this is the master bedroom. It's been painted already, but what is lacking is the whitewash on the ceiling and the air conditioning that's going in. And this is the walk-in closet that is still not complete yet. So we got a bit of work to do there. Um, I can't show you the master bathroom because the electricity is off and it's super, super dark in there but I will show you the bedrooms. I'm just so impressed with this kitchen. Okay, so I think you guys can remember this room because this is where Pablo and Pedro were supervising. And um, Kyle, I, I don't think he made it that day. So Pablo and Pedro were supervising this room. Now it is basically staging for the tile, the toilet for the other bathroom. Um, and this is the new tub for the second bathroom and of course the paint and then the lighting, the door handles. Uh, we, we had to replace every door in this place. So this room's been painted. Um, this bathroom is still a freaking disaster. So, uh, you know, this is not good. And then this room it's been painted, the ceiling fan has been installed, and we just need some flooring in here and the air conditioner. And say hi to Ryan. Ryan is mowing. What a nice guy. Take time out of his weekend to help me uh, get ahead of this project, uh, considering that we are super, super far behind. So I want to show you, um, the flooring's not here, so I can't show you that yet. It hasn't been delivered. Um, but we're going to be redoing some landscaping here. As you can see, it needs quite a bit. Um, this hole is where the old air conditioning unit was. They call it a window unit. However, they put it right in the block. So we're going to re-block that, fix that, and uh, put some shutters and paint. And the roof actually looks very nice, considering he screwed me. Um, there you go. There you go. And then um, I thought a great touch on this house would be enclosing this garage and making it a two car garage. So let me show you that. It's already good to go. 
So that is my update here on um, January 4th. Uh, so again, I've lost two months of uh, productivity. This house should have already been, well, let me put it this way. We were planning on being done before Thanksgiving. So um, this is not good, not good at all uh, to have these kind of setbacks. It's one thing if I screwed up and uh, maybe I didn't line up my contractors in time or I didn't, I didn't do something properly, but when you hire licensed professionals, you expect them to do the right thing, especially when you're paying for it. Um, everybody is asking me why I didn't just knock this house down and build it again. Um, two reasons, uh, this house was built God, I think it was in the 40s or 50s. It's solid with plaster walls. This is a super, super solid house and uh, it wouldn't have benefited me to do that. And also, this neighborhood is fantastic. I am gonna show you what is at the end of this street. As you can see, that is a giant lake. So uh, that is called Lake Lulu. And um, it's a very popular lake here in Winter Haven. And um, to have that at the end of the street, uh, this should be a fantastic uh, rental for me if I, if I continue to do that. If it's going to go much longer, uh, I might have to sell this, but uh, I'd really like to keep it because I really love the house. Um, I think it's going to look amazing. And uh, I know that I was Debbie Downer at the beginning because it was a very rough cleanup and uh, it took a lot out of me emotionally, but uh, I think it's going to come around. I am uh, positive about it uh, and I am told that we are going to be able to get started hopefully in the next week or two uh, to resume the rehab and it should only take us two weeks. We're going to put like nine guys on it to get this done. Uh, so stay tuned for the final reveal. Thanks for hanging with me. And uh, as always, let us know your thoughts on the rehab when it's done. Thanks for watching season two. We hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what you want to see more of. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of new content every single Thursday. Thanks for watching.